Hey YouTube, this is David with uh, X-Wing Versus here, and I want to talk to you guys about uh, what I think is the best build for the Alpha Class Starwing, uh, better known as the Gunboat, for the Empire. And this was something I brought to a tournament, and it performed pretty darn well, if I do say so myself. And so, yeah, so let's get into it. So this is the Alpha Class Starwing. It's a pretty cool looking Imperial ship. And it involves flying Major Vinder, who is a pilot skill 7, and he costs 26 points. And his ab pilot ability reads, uh, when you are defending, if you have a weapons disabled token, run, roll one additional defense die. And I gave him Veteran Instincts, the OS-1 Arsenal Loadout, the Cluster Missiles, and I actually gave him Cruise Missiles because it's one point cheaper and I just have terrible luck with Harpoon Missiles. But you can use harpoon missiles if you want instead, which you probably do if you want to be really competitive, and also advanced slam. And so the reason I have them loaded out as I do, um, after I set down the tripod, all right, things are good, is because it allows you to take maximum advantage of his uh, attack potential, his maneuverability, and also his action bar. And so I'll just... Uh, I guess I'll start with his maneuvering. So on the first turn of the game, usually you don't start the engagement. And I'll uh, zoom out a little bit here to show you the scenario I've set up. And yeah, I am doing this on my kitchen table. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can see it super well, but there is a um, K-Wing and a Skurg Bomber. So right now, if you pay attention to the meta, you know a uh, K-Wing Miranda and a Skurg... Um, Bomber with Nim is super popular right now. And this build, I feel, um, really helps give the Empire some tools to counter it. So let's say the K-Wing and the... So the K-Wing can slam. So it probably, in this particular case, probably want to go three slight to get past that asteroid. And then let's say it wanted, it might, so they may or may not want to slam again. It's the first turn. Usually there's no engagement. So let's say they slam and they probably want to go to the three side again. And at this point they'd have a weapon disabled token. They can't attack. And then Nim, um, he'll probably go, let's say like a four board and Right now you wouldn't have to worry about him slinging a bomb, but at the time I came up with this build, you would. And so it, there probably wouldn't be a bomb out, as in the current state of the meta. And so this is probably what you might end up seeing. seeing. And so first we're going to talk about maneuverability. So the Alpha Class Starwing has all two and three speed maneuvers available, and this is really important. So another reason why I favor cruise missiles over uh, harpoon missiles, uh, other than just my luck with cruise missiles, is um, with the cruise missile, um, usually in, like the first turn of the game, you will end up like going at least a three speed maneuver. So in this case, I'll just say I went three. Three speed and Maybe I want to, I'll do it again. And so I slam forward. And at this point, I would also receive a weapons disabled token. So ordinarily, you couldn't, okay, there you go. So that's where the Alpha Class Starwing um, ended up. I'll get the camera up so you guys get a better shot. So yeah. So ordinarily, these ships cannot attack each other because they both slammed, but with the tidal ability, you, it allows you to attack someone you have target locked. And with advanced slam, you can still target lock after slamming. And so right now, Major Vinder has his choice of Miranda at range one and Captain Nim, who is definitely outside of range one. He's definitely probably at range two. Um, probably not three, but he might be at three. And so this is, so the reason why I have the missile loadout I, I do is because with cluster missiles, you can, you can attack someone at range one, you can do that attack twice. 
And against uh, Miranda Nimville, that's really good because Cluster Missiles, pick the card up for you. This is a three dice attack that attacks twice when you discard this card in your target lock. And that is phenomenal because both these ships, the Skurg and the K-Wing, only have one defense die. So there is a pretty good chance you'll be able to do decent damage at close range. And if they're further away, like at range two to three, it doesn't matter because in my case, I have a cruise missile. And in most other cases, you'll probably have the harpoon missile. And that'll still be a great chance to do lots of damage. So this is already pretty powerful on the attack, but this is still another great thing about it is um, Major Vineyard's ability. Because since you already have a weapons disabled token, you're actually now rolling three uh, agility dice, defense dice, to help mitigate damage. And with the stat line of four health and three shields, it's pretty beefy. So you'll definitely be able to survive most likely the initial engagement, especially if the cane wing slammed. Because it won't be shooting you at all in that situation. Yeah, and so, yeah. And this is another reason why Veteran Instincts is, I think is important and pretty valuable in this build because it makes Major Vinder uh, pilot skill 9, so it makes him an ace. And so he'll be able to move at the same time as most other um, aces. And in my case, since I bring a cruise missiles, I'd be much more likely to have the initiative because I saved myself that one point. So it helped me move after um, other aces and be able to attack attack them. And let's say you didn't bring Veteran Instincts. Um, in, those, in that particular case, um, Miranda would be further away and long as they're within target locking range, you could still um, be able to attack someone. But again, this is where, you know, if you guys have seen any flaws in this build or have any questions about it, feel free to post those down in the comment section. I'd love to answer them and just get feedback and and in my particular case I really hate Captain Nim like with a burning passion um this guy really let's uh, focus yeah there we go I really hate him in fact I hate him so much um I didn't realize this but the plastic here I never actually took it out of the back so I never fly uh Captain Nim because personally I'm an empire all the way type of person in my builds and so yeah and I just hate Nim anyway <laughs> So yeah, and that is pretty, oh, and I guess another thing. So let's go, go say it's the next turn. And K-Wing, um, let's say they just went too hard. Yeah, that'll be clear of the asteroid. And let's make sure you can actually, yeah, you can see what I'm doing on the screen. And let's say Nim, eh, I'm pretty sure, I didn't bring his dial out. Pretty sure he can also go too hard. So if it's not, you know, I'm sure I'll definitely hear about it in the comments. So let's say he did the same. And now it's Major Vinder's turn. Um, and let's say I attacked with uh, the cluster missiles. Sorry about that. And let's say, so I probably won't be able to get someone within range two to three from here. So I can just slam away. So moving. And sweet. And I'll just go three slight. So that way that'll set me up for the next turn. So at this point I receive another weapons disabled token. But again, with Advanced Slam, I can still take an action. So at this case, so I'm rolling three defense dice. Um, let's get you guys a better shot. <laughs> what I'm talking about. So Captain Nim would definitely have a shot at the Skurg, or not the Skurg, the K-Wing. Uh, yeah, it looks like he has a sh yeah, he has a shot too. So both of them have shots. And of course, um, Major Vinder wouldn't be alone. He need, of course, have other pals flying with him, but that's not the point. Just talking about Major Vinder and just his capabilities just on his own. Because, like, no joke, I had people, like, really hating uh, Major Vinder. Like, you think I hate Captain Nim? That was the kind of 
One guy in particular, he gave me similar feedback. He had the same feelings about Major Vinder that I harbor for Captain Nim. And in that tournament, um, it was just a local 100-point tournament, so it wasn't like regionals. But I was able to be runner-up, and I won three of my four games. So, yeah. I think the proof's in kind of really, and I'd like to hear your thoughts about that. But, yeah, so I don't have three defense dice right now. And also, so I could choose to reload. So I get all my... Um, you probably didn't see it, but I put the, down the cluster missiles card. But yeah, so I'd have that card back. And actually, um, usually what ends up happening is I'll hit one of them with the, in my case, a cruise missile, and your guys' case probably a harpoon missile. And so like that would be down already. And then like the next ship, it probably at range one to two. So again, I just use cluster missiles, then I slam out. And at that point, I can reload. And then I'll be ready the next turn. And the great thing about that is, so at, technically at that point you have two weapons disabled tokens, but it doesn't matter because they both go away at the end of the turn and you still get the extra, def you only get one extra defense die, pretty sure. <laughs> so you still have that one. And if you were really afraid, instead of in my, in my situation at the start of this uh, scenario, I only had used uh, one missile weapon. So I could have just, I could have even just taken a focus token, and then I'd have a focus token, three defense dice, and a pretty healthy major vendor. And yeah, so I really like this build for major vendor. I think if you're bringing major vendor, um, bringing the OS1 loadout is much better than bringing the cannon upgrade cards like the assault configuration, I think. And so the reason I prefer it, prefer this title for Major Vinder over the other one, the cannon one, is because, so the cannon one, its ability states, um, so long as the cannon is, cost is below um, two points, two squad points, you can use it, but that only really leaves like the flechette cannon, jamming beam, and a whole bunch of other ones that actually don't deal damage. So really at that point, I don't really think it, the most useful thing about that one is bringing, bringing it so you can have cannons on your Gunboat, it's not really valuable for how you can attack. This one though, you can still attack as long as you have the, excuse me, you have the target lock. And that's really the power, because with advanced slam, you can always still be taking your action. And by bringing both cluster missiles and, and in my case, a cruise missile, in your guys' case, probably the harpoon missile, you'll always be able to attack someone. And then by the time you've used them both up, you can just slam away, reload, and come back into the fight. So yeah, this has been this has been really fun for me. I'd um, love to hear your guys' thoughts and just other um, in ways. And also just like the quality of the video. Um, and if you really like this, um, feel free to subscribe so that way you can be notified when I post a video of another game of my friends and I playing and also just more videos like these. And let me know what you'd like to see in the next one. And thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.